Number 16, starting with his uncirculated 1940 Washington Quarter, graded in mid stage 66 by PCGS, a coin grading scale is a standardized system used to evaluate the condition or quality of a coin. It provides a way for collectors, dealers, and investors to communicate about the state of coins, preservation, and wear. The grades range from poor P1 to perfect uncirculated MS70. According to David Holes, the 1940D is a low mintage date that has been considered a semi-key date in all grades. Much like 1938, 1938S, and 1939S quarters, this MS66 gem fetched a sum of $1,020 on August 29, 2023. Number 15, here is 1972 Eisenhower dollar in mint state 65 CC proven elusive gem with type 2 reverse. Lovely golden gray surfaces are luster, satiny, and exceptionally smooth in circulation strike Eisenhower dollar, irrespective of issue or variety. The 1972 type 2 ranks as one of the most important condition rarities produced during the latter half of 20th century. Collectors actively seek examples in grades ranging from AU55 to gem mint state. This example was sold for $2,056.25. Number 14, this is 1943 D. Jefferson Nickel in mint state 68 with six full steps on reverse. This is an exceptional 1943 D. Jefferson Nickel that represents a pinnacle of both date and historic wartime silver alloy type. It is magnificently toned with vivid pastel colors that deliver outstanding visual appeal, fully struck with six full steps and essentially perfect beneath the glass. It was sold for $2,400. Number 13, this is 1936 Lincoln scent with brilliant finish, an elusive proof issue in PR65 red condition. Vivid surfaces are reddish orange on the obverse, slightly warmer rose red on reverse, universally mirrored and finished with a silky smooth appearance. This is a gorgeous gem example of the key issue in the modern proof Lincoln Sand series. It was sold for $2,760. Number 12 here is 1945 D. Jefferson Nickel in mean state 68 condition with full steps. These delectable, Superb gem exhibits virtually flawless surfaces. The strike is razor sharp throughout, and there is not even a single detracting abrasion. Also beautifully toned, both sides are layered in soft pastel iridescence of sandy gold, pale pink, ice blue, and mint green. Simply gorgeous. The surfaces are simply incredible in their preservation and are graced by delicate pastel hues. It was sold for $2,880. This is 1924 D. Lincoln Senate in MS65 condition, initially certified by PCGS and approved by CEC thereafter. Iridescent pinkish rose and steel blue undertones pierce through an overlay of medium copper patina as the surfaces rotate under the light. Boldly struck throughout a very unusual characteristic of this often weakly defined date, a smooth satiny gem that makes a very positive impression on the eye. It ended up selling for $2,880. Number 10, here is 1952 D. Lincoln Sentinel 67+, plus condition. According to NGC, this is a plentiful issue in fully red gem condition, and most examples are well struck from dyes that rarely show more than moderate wear. Numerous repunched mint mark varieties have been recorded for 1952 D cents, but none are compelling enough to command a premium. This one was sold for $3,840. Number 9, this is 1936 Lincoln Scent with double diverse, graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. According to Stax Powers, a lustrous deep mint red example with bold golden red surfaces. The strike is sharp, and as expected of the assigned grades, there are no serious blemishes noted. Doubling plane at date, liberty, and all peripheral legends. One of the boldest of all double dye varieties in numismatics. Not so bold as 1955 double dye of worst scent, but not far off that mark. It was sold for $4,800.
Number 8. This is 1953s Washington Quarter in MS68 condition, vividly toned top grade registry coin. The 1953s Washington Quarter presents a significant challenge for the registry collector as top grade examples are major rarities. Vivid multicolor toning encompasses frosty pristine surfaces and sharp design elements. I appeal is outstanding. It ended up selling for $5,040. Number 7, here is 1956 Roosevelt Time in Mint State 68 with full bands. The reverse has an extraordinary display of blue, green, violet, and gold toning. The reverse is essentially all brilliant, with only faint powder blue toning at the border. It was sold for $5,520. Number 6, this is 1958 Lincoln Cent in MS67 Plus red condition. PCGS reported just 8 specimens in this high-end grade, with none finer. This specimen displays distinctive lilac accents around Lincoln's head and the rich reddish-orange colors throughout the incredibly smooth, sharply struck surfaces. Eye appeal is just tremendous. It was sold for $6,300. Number 5, moving on with his 1955 Roosevelt time with attractive toning. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS, this lustrous gem displays vivid tones of neon blue, olive green, crimson red, copper red on a verse. Although sharply struck, the torch on the reverse is not that sharp enough to gain full band's designation from grading service. Nevertheless, at high-end grade, this specimen was sold for $9,300. Number 4. This is 1950s Lincoln Sentinel MS68 red condition. Pristine surfaces yield pumpkin orange luster and rich satiny texture. This coin is entirely devoid of spots with sharp design elements and incredible eye appeal. An essential acquisition for the registry collector, it was sold for $10,800. Number 3, here is 1950D Franklin half dollar in MS67 condition with full bell lines. The 1950D Franklin half dollar is a well made issue with full bell lines coins being plentiful in grades as fine as MS66. However, this superb gem example is major rarity with only 6 specimens in this grade reported by PCGS with non numerically finer. This piece displays vibrant frosty mint luster rolling across sharply defined motifs and pristine surfaces. Deep amber russet olive green and golden toning encompasses each side. Eye appeal is just outstanding. It was sold for $13,200. Number 2. 1951 Franklin half dollar in PR67 plus condition. The Philadelphia Mint struck modest mintage of 57,500 proof Franklin half dollars for collectors in 1951. Unfortunately, most of the coins have shallow mirrors and examples with ultra cameo contrast are elusive. Also, the mint cellophane packaging was not suitable for long term storage, and many survivors showcase hairlines in the fields. This spectacular plus graded superb gem displays virtually pristine brilliant surfaces throughout. It was sold for $19,200. Number 1, and this is the most valuable coin of this episode, amazing double denomination cent and dime mill. 1995 Roosevelt time struck with scent of worst die, graded in mean state 64 by NGC according to Heritage. This satin and ear gem displays the characteristics expected of a dime struck with a scent of worse dye. The verse has only partial rim in Godwa Trust and L in Liberty are tight against the border. This is because the dime planchet was less in a diameter than the scent dye in the dime side. The border displays minor softness of strike, principally on ES of AM. This was partly due to the dye alignment, but also because of metal flow on the planchet towards the collar to fill the unexpectedly wide scent of worse dye. The strike on the scent is sharp except for minor incompleteness on the truncation of Lincoln's bus near the VDB's initial. This true rarity was sold for $57,500. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on fascinating world of collecting. Have a good one.